and welcome everyone to uh, welcome everyone National Independent Soccer Association here in Ron in Rio Hondo Stadium. My name is Simon Allen. Next to me, the fountain of knowledge, Dennis Pope, here on a beautiful, beautiful day on Father's Day weekend. I'm still trying to get all the particulars sorted out for this match, but it is going to be beautiful for the neutral if you're out there on the worldwide spider web. Los Angeles Force versus Maryland Bobcats. Just a few seconds to go as the players are lining up. And I've been waiting to work with Dennis for a while now. We worked a few games last year, getting him on the mic as we speak. Because I'm telling you right now, if, there's, uh, if there is a, a knowledgeable source in the business, it's him. And it's a beautiful Father's Day weekend. So again, if, uh, if you do want to indulge Simon Allen, the Dalai Lama of soccer, we will be doing a lot of dad jokes. Sorry, it's going to happen. But if you're here, I thank you because it's National Independent Soccer Association here in Rio Honda Stadium. And it's going to be a, just a, an amazing match. Los Angeles Force versus Maryland Bobcats. LA Force right now in fifth place in the, the league. They got uh, two wins, two draws and a loss that is it Maryland Bobcats are in second place now don't let the sort of the the, the, the position for you five wins and this time. one tie and three losses they've played a lot like more matches so we can't really sit there as a I don't know as a neutral and say and one has the advantage over the other if we've been watching the matches and we have we, we, we can guarantee one thing it's gonna be a hell of a match isn't it, isn't it? so last time these two teams uh, met it was actually in Maryland and we'll, right now you can hear the, the folks clapping for the team they actually met in Maryland on May 31st Score was 2 1 to the Bobcats. Uh, two go um, goals from two goals from Andrew Rival and uh, and Nicholas. And uh, it was actually a, a pretty intense affair uh, with a goal of honor scored in the 90th minute by uh, the LA Force. And uh, it was a pretty decent match, wasn't it, uh, wasn't it, Dennis? Yeah, it was a good one. I think uh, we're getting, yeah, we're getting good audio feed now. Yeah, um, last time, Maryland. Are you talking about Maryland on Thursday? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thursday two, night, two yeah. Dennis, one, uh, the goal of honor in the, in the 90th minute, which I thought was was a good. But the, I think most of the people watching would be like, well, those two goals scored by by the Bobcats, pretty, you know, sort of sort of cemented their sort of their dominance. Ironically, I want to say that the, the, the they haven't um, the LA Force haven't played until now, and again, I don't know if the word ironic is ap apropos, but they're playing the same team. Yep. So, yeah, they get a second crack at the at the cherry, right? So, yeah, you got to put on a good show here in front of the home crowd. Yep. You got to get ready to go. I think you kind of know what you've seen the best from from Bobcats at their home, so you try and turn the tables on them here. Looks like LA Force has a couple of new signings yep, for we'll, this match, so we'll get into we'll that a little bit. Later, yeah. You know, but their their rosters consistently and their lineups have consistently changed throughout the season. I think they're still trying to find right the right eleven. Well, and I think a, it's sort of a testament to the quality of the LA Force, where there's a lot of good players out there, and they want to play with the best other best other with the one play with the best team. They want to play with other good players, and LA Force is like, well, we're that's us. So again, that squad rotation. And uh, all that stuff can actually happen. Well, if you're a NISA club, right, you're looking for talented players at all times. You've yes. got to have the ability to have a scout, you know, and, or scout matches and, and scout players and bring in better talent. Yeah. And uh, just, to, just to let you know, the Force actually beat Flower City 3-1 um, and tied uh, Club de Lyon 0-0. Uh, so they've been playing matches in, in NISA, just not as many at, uh, as, 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 as the Bobcats. So, again, I mean, we're in for a treat. I'm definitely a neutral when it comes to you know, the NISA clubs. I like them all. I, I like all the players. Um, I sort of challenge all the players, like, look, make me a fan of you today. Right? And I think that I tell people who ask me, you know, why do you watch NISA? And I'm like, well, number one, it's really good football. Number two, like, you can, you can become fans of these players because they, they come out here and they work their socks off. They play for their club. And, uh, you know, these are future stars. 
In, in many cases, yeah, yes, that's yeah. true. You know, the future stars. So to me, it's like you've got an opportunity to do that. And like I've been saying for very many years, like it has everything. It has what you want in a, in a football match. The only thing really missing is you, the the folks out there that are watching on the worldwide uh, spider web, which is fantastic. I'm glad you're um, you're watching. But it's a really good atmosphere here. What's missing is you. You need to be down over here. Uh, right now, you can see uh, Dennis that the the players are lining up, waiting for the, the national anthem. So we'll stop. Uh, we'll stop the mics for a second. All right, folks, we're back. So just let me introduce myself. Simon Allen here, the Dalai Lama of Soccer next to me. Fountain of Information, Dennis Pope. That's me. Absolute sort of uh, veteran stalwarts of NISA right now, you and I. And we're covering a fantastic match, I think. Uh, again, like I've been saying, the only thing that's missing is, 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 the, is you out there. Come by and... Uh, whether it's Rio Hondo or Championship Stadium, come on by. We're going to have a packed house here at Rio Hondo tonight. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I was thinking maybe a quiet affair, but uh, still, you know, still plenty of room, though. I mean, more the merrier. Here's the starting lineup for Maryland Bobcats. What do you see uh, that, you, that sort of surprises you or is uh, sort of lead, normal? Leading scorer, Darwin Espinal, lead, leading the way. Tip of the spear for Bobcats. He's uh, tied for the league lead in goals right now. And then Alex Sutton, very reliable in the back and has been for Bobcats now for several seasons. Also very strong defensively and they're tied for the league lead with 16 goals overall. So they're, they're doing it both ends uh, and they're off to another hot start this season. Here's the LA Force and I'm sure there's going to be a couple of names here that I think deserve a bit of attention. Hugo Gomez returns in goal. That's always good to see for Force. Mm -hmm. The defense with Edwin Rivas and Ivan Hernandez is back again. That's been the combination for most of the season. Mm -hmm. The midfield changes a little bit. Yep. Uh, Leo Polo Placencia gets the start tonight as well as uh, amateur Daniel Espeleta. Okay. And then Moja Hale and the new signing up top, Frank the King Tayo. Frank has made his career mostly in the Major Arena Soccer League. Most recently played for Ontario Fury, which became Empire Strikers. Right, right. He's won a couple of golden boots in that league, a couple MVPs in that league. Has been one of the best players in Major Le Arena Soccer League mm -hmm. for the last four, five, six years, uh, going back to his time with Tulsa and a couple of other clubs. Right. So he's, he's a big-time player, a, a huge physical uh, asset for this team now, and it, it'll be interesting because L.A. Forest, to begin the season, they had a player named Chuka Ara, mm -hmm. big physical striker up top. He's not with the club now. They've brought in perhaps an even better version of that, that physical yeah. type well, center we, forward. Well, we want to see if that, that, those, that game can translate to the field game. Right? Can, can the indoor game translate? We've seen throughout sort of soccer history that the indoor players, and, and for example, Preki, for example, when he went to Everton, you know, people say that he was only maybe a 40-minute player because of what was going on. Now, that could be folklore, you know, but now we can see firsthand in front of our very own eyes can an indoor soccer player actually put in 90 minutes and be creative and be a force out there, pardon the pun? And uh, it's, it's right here, right here on the Worldwide Spider Web. We're going to thank TV Emacs for putting on a great show and uh, everyone out there on the Worldwide Spider Web just uh, essentially watching. But that could be a, a great storyline right now if you're just a neutral at this point. Can the superstar of the, of the indoor come outdoors 
and actually make an impact. Yeah, it's I, a, it's I bet you're betting that he can. I'm thinking he can. Yeah. I mean, kind of just look at him, look at the defenders that he's going to be going up against. <laughs> if he can get himself into some creases yeah. and then some he's spaces. A big lad. <laughs> he's just like, no doubt about it. You know? I, think he, I think he can pour in some goals for this team. All right. Well, you heard it here. Just a few seconds to go before the referee blows the whistle. Again, a nice, really nice day. And here we go, folks. Welcome. LA Force versus Maryland Bobcats. Sun is essentially setting enough where the, there's a, it's a nice shady grass and here we go back to the goalkeeper he's looking to his left passes it to his left and so far so good Maryland Bobcats maintaining control in the first 20 odd seconds of the match back to the goalkeeper you can see the LA Force playing very high up the pitch making them essentially causing them to make a mistake and it's it's so an errant boot outside into touch, and it's going to be a throw in for LA Force. Let's see what they can do with that. Good enough. Gets to the player. Has to control it. Who's going to control it? Is it red or white? Well, it looks like the Lily Whites have got it. Back to the center back. To the right. So far, so good. Is it going to be a long cross into that? No. Holds it. He's holding it. Back to his teammate. He's got bags of space. Looking to his left. And so, yep, yeah, so there you go. So far, so good. And just willing just right now to hold the ball and suck those players into the, uh, the defensive part of their pitch to create a little bit of space here. Back and forth, back and forth. And here we go. Can it get past the midfield? Well, eventually it will, Dennis. It's like Deco Kiner's wearing the armband right now for LA Forest. So this is his first armband, I think, for the club. And here we go. There's a quick counter for the Bobcats. Can it go down the right-hand side? Is it going to be smothered away? And actually, it's going to be a... seems like an infraction. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it is a foul. It looks like the foul committed by the Bobcats. I'm not quite sure. Well, okay. Fair enough. Maybe a little shoulder in the back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Goalkeeper now has the ball. Gomez wearing bright yellow, yeah. stripe all the way up and down. Back and forth again. Again, you can see you're very patient right now. Keenan playing center back at this point, and he's going to sort of be the general of that back. Here we go. We were trying to close any kind of movement down. Bobcats are trying to see what the LA Force are trying to do. Yeah, they're just, again, I don't, I don't think they're going to fall for it. They're just holding their own. Rivas now has the ball. He's trying to go pen trip between two players. He does. He gets it to his player up front. It's going to be a battle. A semi-dangerous pass back to the goalkeeper who boots it away to the midfield. Very well done. Very well done by the defense. LA Force really playing well. Just runs into a player. And here come the Bobcats with a quick counter. Chooses to go backwards rather than forwards. Fine. Nice passing. A little bit nice triangle play here. And surely across, no, waits for it. Waits for his teammate. Gonzalez with the ball. It's in the middle of the park right now. And again, looking for options. Going all the way back to the goalkeeper who's in the middle of the park on his side of the pitch. Setting a little sweeper keeper right now. Yeah, well, talk about uh, indoor soccer, right? So here we go. Ball goes out to touch, and it's been pretty interesting for the first three minutes. No real deciding sort of move by any of these teams, but it's very, very, very early. And the crowd keeps coming in. This is LA crowds. They're always a little bit late, aren't they? <laughs> You'll understand if you live here. <laughs> and not until you do. <laughs> exactly. We'll, get, we'll probably get emails on that one. Back to action, folks. Here come the Bobcats. You've got a free kick. Choose to go short. So far, so good. Nice, solid play. Good football. Both these teams look like they've got instructions and they're following it by both the gaffers. So, so far, Burnett's open. Chooses to go f completely down the middle. Route one football. Lucky bounce for the BLA Force. And here is that quick counter. Looking. Looking for Big Frank. Yeah, looking for Frank at this point. And he won't mind if we call him by his first name. No idea. <laughs> 
Good movement right now. Gomez with the ball. Got plenty of time. No one's uh, going to challenge him. Wouldn't work anyway. Too many white shirts around him. Plenty of space. Here comes the captain. Kina now has the ball. Gets it back. Looking. Looking to draw any kind of player with a red shirt in to create some sort of a gap. A little pocket to get the ball through. Not happening right now. Kina with the ball. So far, so good. LA trying to bait the Bobcats, not happening yet. And then gives it back to Keenan. It's good possession by four, cycling mm -hmm. through the defense, getting everybody some touches. Certainly will like shake the rust off doing that. There's that through ball into that pocket for Frank, and he's been guarded very well. So far, so good. That might be a battle. That's Mansoor, who might be just on top of him all day long. I would not be surprised. He's the sort of the physical yeah. match for him right now. Yeah. Even though some of the shortest players, you know, in football have been known to be the terriers and the toughest of them of the bunch, but this could be interesting. And again, Keenan looking for that pocket, and inside that pocket is definitely Frank. He's looking for that. Tries to bring it down. All he's got to do is just bring it down, turn, and he's off at the races. Not happening yet. And gonna, we're actually kind of expecting that a bit too much right now. It's only, you know, the seventh minute, right? It's already predictable, <laughs> yeah. right? They're already looking for him. Everybody knows already. Well, do, do you think, well, do you think the, you know, the lads in red know that? Yeah, they've been on so? the field I mean, already. I there's one guy that knows yeah. that. Yeah. No, they've, they, they were out there in warm-ups. Yeah. They, they, they got they a rifle. Yep, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just, it takes about 20, 30 minutes for everyone to go, wait a second, there's that threat. You know, because, you know, at the end of the day, there's, there's not a million videos of that one person. And again, that's the beauty of NISA soccer at this point. You know, you do get surprised once in a while. A few jewels, a few gems. But again, solid play by both these teams. And again, if you're a neutral. I'm trying to think of another player of Tayu's caliber who's entered into to Nisa from the Major Arena Soccer League in the same way. And I, I can't think of I one. I can't, yeah. It, it, you know, over the years, I've, I've thought that it's easily translatable, right? So I'll, if you'll indulge me, because um, we did actually, many years ago, I did actually train a, a baseball player to be a goalkeeper for indoor, thinking it, it, would be, it could be easily translatable for that way. But I haven't seen one, like you said, for a long time. Mainly because I think it's just two different, not two, like isn't bad, but like two, T-W-O, different mindsets. Um, so we'll see. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope it is so interchangeable that we do see a lot more of these. Because it is fun to see someone that was at in the, you know, in the TST, you know, playing, you know, and see all this great movement of good football players right. around America. So right now we've got a free kick. Pretty dangerous. I think we know what the, who they're looking for here. Wow. Interesting. Went against the grain. We see the replay over here, Dennis. Hoofed it. Just didn't get his head over it, did he? Well, it's nil-nil. It's nine minutes, you know. I wasn't going to fault him for trying to be a first-half hero. Back to action, folks. Again, Simon Allen here, the Dalai Lama of Soccer, in beautiful Rio Hondo next to me. Dennis Pope, and here's the action we're looking for. Surely a shot passes it over. That's too unselfish. Should have just taken the shot, but not out of danger yet. LA Force draw the foul, and you can see the replay over here. This was just a bit. Look, just swiped away, Dennis. Not too much there. Yeah. Referee didn't like it, though. Well, we've seen some pretty, um, well, this week we've seen at least one match that sort of got out of hand. So let's see if... Uh, I'll say. <laughs> this refereeing crew is very, very well-traveled, and I don't think it'll happen. Long boot into the area. Looking for Moha. Not quite happening. A foul against Force. So for about, you know, 10 minutes into it, it's been... A good game of chess, don't you think, Dennis? Pretty even so far. Yeah. Yep. I don't think Darwin Espinal's had much of the ball yeah. yet, though, for Bobcats. 
that is a bit distressing. But again, it, sometimes all you need is that one. You can be quite silent for the whole game, and then that one, one bit of action. And here come the Bobcats. Men in red are moving up the field very well. Just runs out of space, but gets it to his player. Just couldn't quite control it. They still maintain possession. Very intelligent football right here. Just gets it into the first player he sees that's in space and out of traffic. And here comes Bobcats with trying to penetrate that box. There it is. Very well done by LA Force. Get it out of there. Get it out of trouble. Here comes Frank. He's going to have to control it. Mansoor on his yeah, back immediately. Yeah, yeah. So it, it was. It was like the gaffer at, 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 at before the game started. Okay, Mansoor. You know, here's your here's your player. There's your man, Mark. There you go. Yep. One bit of instruction. So we'll see. So we'll see that 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 bit of um, it's a it's a new bit to sort of to fathom for an indoor player to have that one person. Cause, you know, there's there's a lot of movement in indoor, right? Um, not very beneficial to have one person marking one person indoor. Now let's see what you know. This becomes interesting. Back to the goalkeeper. Here goes Gomez with the ball. Gomez will hold on to it. Bobcats continue to back off. Yeah. <laughs> just it's like an accordion. They're getting they're sort of squeezing together just so there's just not enough space for the LA force to just do anything. Again, Bobcats will be happy for the back three just to pass it to themselves all day long. Here comes Hernandez with the ball. He's got a little bit of space. Chooses to go straight down the sides over here. Rebus with the ball. Nicely done. He's going to try to draw a foul. Referee says, no way. And uh, you know what? A little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of controversy. I don't think there was anything no. there. I think <laughs> Moja was anticipating <laughs> yeah. there being something there. He was hoping. He was just crossing his fingers. It was some, there's a, there's a, there was a connection. He was prepared. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the dark arts, but I, I don't think it was it was that uh, it was that Crafty. artistic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back to action, folks. Here come Bobcats on saw with the ball. Nice cross into it, but just overcooked it. Easy work yeah. for Gomez. It's a beautiful evening here, Simon. Oh, isn't it great? Yeah. Isn't it great? I really like this facility. Do you like this one? Yeah, I do. It's, it's grown on me. It's, it's yeah, it's nice. There's, yeah, I, I like it even more when there's more people watching the match because it makes it easier for us and yep. the the players really love it to see their fans come out and their friends and family come out. So it's, it's not the biggest facility, yeah. right? But the field is nice. It's and, the right and size right and there. shape. You're yep. right there. You can see it. You know, you can almost like. Let, I'll be honest with you. If I was any closer, folks, I'd be wearing a jersey at this point. <laughs> I'll be running around. So this is how awesome it is when you come and, and, and watch these matches. And you wouldn't want me commentating on that, I don't think. Um, I think you'd be kind. Uh, and I think I'd probably surprise for the worst. <laughs> it's a fair assessment. Yeah, there'll be a lot more fouls. <laughs> You've got to slow them down, right? <laughs> Somehow, by hook or by crook. But these guys don't need sort of any dark arts at all. Playing very, very well. Now you can see they're on the Bobcat side of the pitch and... LA are trying to maintain control. Hernandez wants the ball. Just gets it back to, to Keenan. Keenan's like, no, should have got forward. He's actually pointing. Get it forward. And now Bobcats have successfully pushed the uh, LA force back to their side of the pitch. Keenan's going to have a little bit of space to run into. He chooses to pass it. Here's Rivas. He knows who, who wants the ball. He knows how to get to that player. But that player right there, Frank, is on the corner. And you can see him. He's not really guarded that much. He's got bags of space in front of him. That could be dangerous, giving him a, a bit of space. We'll see what happens as, as, the, as, the, as the match goes along. Alex Sutton with the ball. Looking for some space, looking for a... Not just tell his team to go. And this is what I like. I like to see the, the match actually start, the play actually start in the middle of the park. Look at that boot. Wow. Got a little leg on him. Yeah. Bobcats with possession. Sun's in his eyes right now. He gets it to his teammate. Close down quickly, but again, Bobcats maintain. Got the ball. They're trying to insist. Trying to get into the box. Surely across this 
Right there, there you go. Easily spotted, but bags of space now. Bennett with the ball. They're going backwards. LA Force is trying to move a little bit closer to the other side of the pitch. Close down any space. But kudos to the Bobcats who have maintained. Got Look at this. Very well done. Gonzalez with the ball. He's running up. Bags of space. He's looking for anyone. Look at that. Just no one around him and just not on the same page. Gives it away, but ball's got a favorable bounce for the Bobcats today. Here comes the pressure from Forrest. Here we go. Surely a short cross in there. And very that's a, just a very exciting one to play there for both these teams. And uh, with the balls bouncing favorably and, and both teams maintaining possession, this is some interesting stuff in the 16th minute. Assistant referee said it was a goal kick. Mm. Postian saying should be a corner kick. Who's going to win that battle, do you think? Then? Always the referee, <laughs> always the referee. There you go. La five, <laughs> la five. You know, like a little lesson for all the youngsters out there. Just play the game. Here comes Frank. He's going to muscle his way. And guess what? Earns it. Yeah. Mansour knows what he's doing, though, isn't he? He's just like, I'll bring you down. Look, look. He turned him. Yeah. Yeah, had him beat. Yeah. So now I think Mansour has to really think about in the way he's guarding this player. Frank has extreme body control. Yeah. He's playing in those tight, tight spaces yeah. in the Arena League. Well, Mansour's going to need extreme mind control if he wants to, you know, if he thinks that that's going to work next time, I think. Um, he's going to start piling up. Yeah. Fouls. Yeah. And, yep. Free kick. Oh, reference saying no. Stop. A little bit of talk here. Placentia's over the ball. He really wants to hurry up and take it. But a little bit of chit-chat in the box. Referee's not having none of that, so Placentia just goes back a little bit. Well, I mean, I'm not really sure if... Uh, could that be... No, it is Placentia. He's got it. Mm -hmm. Nice curve in there. Look at that! Yeah! Fantastic! Edward Salazar, come on, can you believe it? Everyone's looking for the big guy. And Salazar just perfectly arcs it into the back of the net. We've got to see a replay of that one, don't we, Dennis? Polo with a great ball in. Here it is. Oh. Nope, going back to that one. Okay. Fair enough. We'll see Ladies it. That was amazing. Scored by your LA Fort. Even yours truly, your humble servant, the Dalai Lama Soccer, was looking at Frank. There we go. Free kick coming in from Polo. Onto the head. It was. It was three. It was three after all. Edward Salazar with his yeah. first goal of the season for Force. And what a goal. That's a highlight. The 18th minute. Yeah. A little bit of a shock lead here for yeah. LA Force. Well, we're all talking about another player, and he goes, well, and, he, and he's literally. He's, he's put his like his head where, you know, like, hey, you should be talking about me. So I absolutely love it. And how, how good of a decoy do they have now, <laughs> right? <laughs> now people have to worry about that guy now, right? Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. You know, it's just sort of another lesson for the youngsters. Like, you, you can't have a one-man team. I think there's no doubt everybody had their eyeballs on Frank yeah. Tayu on that one. And Everyone on the, on Salazar. The, this yeah. side of the field. Yeah, you know? Salazar snuck in there. Yeah, so here we go. Oof. Wow. Espinal was offside, though. Yeah. Diego Gomez, very much. Look at that. Fantastic replay. Look at this. And well deserved. Just good celebration. The lad is absolutely happy. It is. You know, the whole group is yeah, thrilled. I mean, Get that first goal of the season just to get that weight off your shoulders. Amazing. Just into the mix. Very well done. Now, you know, a few players talking to the to the ref. Bobcat's uh, 
Gonzalez is talking to the ref and like, you know, you gotta go take it easy. You know Big Frank's physicality is going to wear on them. Well, just the fact that it's like uh, it's grinding, right? Like it's, it's oh my God, i got to do this over and over and over again. And suddenly your brain just suddenly sort of goes into automatic mode and then that's where you make that mistake. So, yeah, you know, having that one guy that you've got to worry about all the time, you know, you're on 100% all the time and... It's 100% going to open up spaces for other players. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, at the very least, right? So here we go. Not a, not a carbon copy of the last one. We saw Manso just essentially headed out. Could have been dangerous, but here comes the Bobcats with a quick counter. And as referees blowing the whistle for probably a foul. So I say it's been a fantastic... You know, half of the first half, hasn't it? It's been really good 21 minutes. Um, Alex Sutton getting to Gonzalez. He's looking at everyone to go forward. Bobcats still haven't scored a goal on this road trip. Yeah, they, they were nil-nil no, no yesterday. Yep, right? Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Oh, yes, Thursday, yes. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Sure. <laughs> I mean, everybody's eyeballs are on a little bit different match that night. But, Probably, yeah. You know. probably talk about until 90 minutes about that match you know we should have been able to talk about that one for 112 but it stopped after yeah pretty much 96 or whatever yeah. well we've seen weirder things by the you sure know, by the ref right i mean oh, don't think there, there was a whole lot of harm done by ending that no, game I short think probably yeah. yeah i've seen a referee like stop the game as the corner kick is going into the goal and they're like you just okay all right but can't play the game without them. So Need them refs. Yeah. So far, so good. It's quiet down a bit, um, both on the pitch and in the stands. But the intensity is still there. A little bit of uh, yelling and screaming at the ref just a few moments ago. And now they're back to sort of, you know, back to business. That kind of puts everybody on the same team, right? Yeah. Good, just good physical play. Just clean physical play, you know? That's fantastic. Here comes Keenan. He's going to have to boot it out. He's looking for Frank. Frank can just, just flick it onto Hale. That would have been brilliant. But now it's back to the Bobcats. Got a little bit of space. And look at Burnett with the ball. He's going to just whiz past his player over here. Nice little P-roller down the center. Didn't quite get his man. And that's the smart play. We're looking for Frank. That's the smart play. That's the wall pass that here, they want. Yes. Here we go. Here's this moment with the ball. He's got it. It's one on one. Plenty of And look. There's that cross. And there it is. No. Just couldn't get over it. And That's what they've been working on, though. You know that they've been working on in practice. Yeah. Rivas with the overlap. Yeah. Tayu making that diagonal run. Here it is on the replay. 100% they've been working on this. This is textbook stuff. And all the, thing, anything that, well, the only thing that was missing was the final touch. Back of the right. net. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, Alex Sutton was like, wait a second. I mean, just watching that player come right down the middle like a freight train. Who's, who's defending that guy, <laughs> right? <laughs> thought, that, thought that was supposed to be you, Monsoor. I'm telling you, I, I'd be worried, you know. I think there's about three more of those moves coming up. And, again, I'm not predicting it. I'm just saying there could be. I want everyone to be watching this match. <laughs> King Frank is good for goals. Every, he scored at every level he's played at. Monsoor with the ball doing, you know, a bit more than defensive duties right now. Switches it over to the other side of the park. He's also a leader out there. He's talking to the other forward players for force. Talking about spacing and positioning. That's a little bit of something that force has been missing too, a leader up top. They haven't had one since, since Cheney. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, right. The 2020 season. A, f a solid player, nonetheless. There have been some big players up front in Nisa. We've seen them, you know, last year. Perhaps so the biggest one down in Chattanooga, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, you need a target guy. Yep. What, you know, and I've always liked the sort of the little and large effect. You know, like one big guy, one small guy, like the old, you know. Sort of Liverpool days, you know, in the 70s. Um, little thunder and lightning. Yeah, yeah, you know, someone who's like 
below your your eye line, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, you're like, where, where do you go? So you give the defense different looks too, yeah. right? Defenders are getting bigger, so maybe you know he's oh, and n none better than the the star that's coming to America, and and uh, gonna hopefully the trickle down effect will be amazing, where every part of soccer will grow. None none smaller than him, I don't think. Right? What are you referring to, Simon? Um, just a small Argentinian guy coming to America. Oh, really? There's you, you didn't hear about that? <laughs> there might have been something. <laughs> I, I, heard, I could I have heard, sworn I heard it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard he's he's still still negotiating. <laughs> I, I'm a firm believer of, of tides raising all the boats. You know what I mean? And and when someone looks at America and goes, "That's a place to be," then you know, guys that can you know, and and, and I know this that there's there's players that come in from other countries that want to make their start in the NISA, and so yeah, it, it shines a light. And obviously, NSA is ready. You know, they've got great players. Keener's down. And he's not happy about it. I'm going to see the trainer here. Physio's coming out, but I don't think he really needs it. He's arguing with the ref about whether or not he's got to come off the field. Yeah. Generally, an optimistic person, so I'm thinking he, just by him walking, he looks fit. Yeah, he's all right, he's good. Got a swig of water, magic sponge back in the pitch. Let's go. There he is. <laughs> Hugo Gomez over the ball for about trying to find Frank. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just smart moving to that side of the pitch because you're literally, for about one second, you're a one-man down. Yep. But again, at the end of the day, no, he's, no, probably no reason for him to be out. Keenan's doing a good job, and he wasn't hurt. Just one of those rules, technical rules. Here come the Bobcats. It's just swiped away by Hale. Can they control it? They do. Very good football. Good, intelligent football. Oh, just not on the same page. And he raises his hand. He just says, I'm sorry, you know. Trying to thread the needle. Yeah, Viatoro just didn't like the way he was thinking. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got to get past two players. Bags of space. No, nope. no. Nope. Alex Sutton's got that all the way. Had his eye on the ball. Bobcats definitely looking to maintain control because they've had some good looks at the at the at goal. One time it was a bit of a an unselfish move that cost him something, I think. And then... Yeah, I tried to hit the ball back to the top of the area, area to find yeah, a teammate, right? In the, right. right in the semicircle, didn't quite... I mean, it just should have taken the shot or not quite on the same page. And that's what usually happens, you know. Yeah, well, someone's on page two and the other one's on page four, <laughs> you know. There's that shot! Oh. Took a deflection on the way wow. through, too, which is yeah. a dangerous thing. Yeah. His own player, goalkeeper, gets the kick. Fans are everywhere, Dennis. And asking questions. I love it. I love it. I think it's a good opportunity to all the fans out there on the worldwide spiderweb where are you it's a beautiful day father's day weekend here come the la force Asensio has the ball gets it to frank back to his teammates it should be going forward but it was just so many red shirts behind him big switch switched perfectly rebus has the ball a little bit of space gets it back no one's challenging him so again perfectly happy to pass the ball around they're going to find that pocket. There it is. And just that cheeky back. Trying to get the shot off. Didn't quite work. Not out of trouble yet. Got to maintain control. And they do. Keenan now. Recycle possession yeah, now. Look at that. Rebus now. Again, it's very sort of very methodic. But we can see. They have a pretty good idea about what they want. 
just got to get the other, you know, got to get everyone on the same line. And here, look at that. Polo dancing through the defense. Wow. The UC Riverside product. Look at that. Brazilian-like football for Rivas. Just nicely done here. Got to, got to love that. That just a little bit of control. Look at this. Turn it around. He's going to have to just. Someone's going to take the shot. Surely. Couldn't get it out from underneath his feet. Couldn't pull the trigger, Dennis. What is going on? Just you're right in front of the goal. My old coach used to say, if you don't know what you're doing in front of goal, just put it in the back of the net and I'll tell you later. We'll talk about it some other time. Yeah. yeah. Here come the Bobcats. Nicely done. Surely across it is. Poked away by Keenan and they have to regroup for it because Bobcats are attacking. Espinal creeping around the top of the box. He's got the ball. And they see him. They looked up. They looked up twice to see him there. Just can't get the shot off right now. Surely a cross. Yes, right now. No. Nope. Running into traffic. There it is. And there's the shot. And just... Scooped it. Yeah, he used the you know, side of his foot. Didn't quite work. But the amount of passes that connected and the amount of possession, that's something to be you know, talked about during halftime if you're the LA Force uh, coaching crew. Yeah, that was good movement from Bobcats in their attacking third. That's been all with the final touch, but just over. I don't think it's going to remain 1-0, to be honest with you. And that's, I'm not going out on a limb by saying that. Here come the LA Force. Just, you know, I think, you know. Revis is supremely yeah. skilled. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I tell, make me a fan. And I guess Edwin Rivas, you know, is making a fan out of me. That's just some good football right there, you know, entertaining you know he led this team in goals last season from that wing back spot tried to find Moja Hale there on the touch but no, a bit forward give him a bit of advantage here uh, Burnett just throws it back it doesn't matter he was going to go there anyway <laughs> okay <laughs> So when he gets it back to his teammate, a little space there. He's going to do a little crossing. Look at that. Just, it's, that was going to be dangerous. Well done to the back line for, of the LA Force. Here's the quick counter looking for Frank. Not getting there. There's another mark. It's like a sniper marker. Yeah, Richard Forker. Yeah. He's playing like the, the, sort of the blind spots, so to speak. But Frank can't see it. Wow, that's the adjustment. He comes and attacks. Yeah. Mansoor kind of waits. Yeah. Oh, the chess game continues, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Right now we see Bobcats on the attack. LA Force just compressing a little bit. Trying to absorb. Yeah. At this moment in time, there's got to be one shot on goal. And there it is. And whoa, Hugo Gomez. I'm going to call him Hugo Boss because he was bossing that thing. Wow. Fabulous save and harder than it looked. Yeah, those deflections can be really, wow. really tough, especially to try and adjust your feet and get, your, get them back Shit. underneath you. God, give the lad credit. That was a wicked blast from Espinal. <laughs> yeah. Just looking for the goal if you're a Bobcats fan. Quite content with being 1-0 up in the first half if you are a, an LA Force fan. But again, on the flip side of that, you really want to see your new forward scoring a goal. And could this be the opportunity? No, taken away by the Bobcats. They've got to get out of there because they're going to be pressured right now. And they do. There's three players. Hale got a, did a good job sticking in there. Look at Rivas just dancing around. Can he get past two? No. But Hale's got it. Back in the middle of the park. Just going backwards. Keenan now has it. I know that's intelligent play. But when the Bobcats are on the back heel, then go forward. And it's just going backwards. Okay, Keenan, let's see what you're going to do about this. Back to, to Gomez. All right. Well... Patience is a virtue. I don't have any of it. 
<laughs> but the players do. So <laughs> let's see what happens. So far, so good. Can't all be attacking football, Simon. It can. <laughs> As, a, as an old defender, I preferred it if it was on the other side of the pitch. <laughs> oh, no doubt about that. <laughs> well, you guys do your thing. I need to, I need to rest. <laughs> Love it when it's on the other, well, on the other side of halfway. I'm just, I'm just watching. I can be yeah. a spectator as well, yeah. Thus ended my career right there. <laughs> Here we go. He's rushing the ball. He's got it. He's turning around. Just, just like an eel, just wrapping around the, the player, just going around him. Don't know if he's going left. Don't know if he's going right. It's all in the hips. Yeah. And I just don't think I've seen him make a bad pass. And I'm not going to jinx him, I promise. Here come the LA Force. Taken away. Out of touch. Throw into the Force. Can they make something happen? Can they go into the, the break 2-0 up? We know... Bobcats haven't scored on, on their trip to California. It would be pretty hard if it was 2-0 up to score two more. I think both coaches know that. They've done a good job scoring goals this season, so. Here we go. Here's Frank. He's got the ball. Plenty of space and takes the shot. And just bounces wide. Heart to Dangerous mouth stuff. moment there, Dennis. Good play from Tayo. He got the ball there on the wing. Sent it fired. Cracker across the box there. Just an un Hale unable to put a touch just on the final. Hale needed to just like not clip his toenails because if it was like a millimeter more, it would have just gone right in. <laughs> Smacked in the back of the net. It would have been 2 0, but back to action. It's 1 0 here at Rio Hondo. Absolutely no sun on the pitch right now, so it's an even. No one's going to get sun in their eyes. Bobcats on the attack, choose to go backwards. Monsoor now with the ball. He's going to get it back. Poseidon coming all the way back trying to get the ball. He's tired of not seeing it up there in the center forward spot. Yep. Well, it's, a, it's a true sign that, you, that you know, he's not getting service, right? He's got to come back and get it. So it's something I think both, you know, the manager's going to have to talk to him. About. Like, oh, he's up there for a reason. Get, get him the ball and don't come back, you know? It's hard for a teammate to sit, you know, just sit there and wait, right? Yep. Even they want to be part of the action. He's certainly defending well. Bit of a, a little, you know, bit of a jersey tug over there. Don't worry, they're on sale. Right over here. <laughs> you can buy your own. And here come the LA Force. Trying to break out, but a little too quickly. Yeah, just overcooked. Didn't quite, didn't quite see the pace on that one. Via Toro got the legs, just uh, didn't connect, you know, visually first. Look at this. A lot of this from Bobcats tonight. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm perfectly happy with it. I mean, like, bypass the midfield if you have to. I, mean, I don't understand playing from the back anymore. If you're going to lose it, if you're not going to get chances on goal, get it down. And here's Poseidon. No. Very well done by Keenan. Because if Poseidon had got that ball, I think it would have been a, a quick shot and at least a good attempt. Keener providing a little bit of that veteran savvy in defense for Force tonight. Well, certainly you can see that he's got a, you know he's got that sort of general job. You know, like he's like, okay, give it back to me. Well, I'll calm the, the team down. I'll make sure I can move it from side to side. Look, look where Frank is. <laughs> he's on the other side of the pit. He should be right over here, right in front of us. This could be something. Big switch. Hale now has the ball. Doesn't quite handle it correctly, but it's one on one. Two on one, passes it back to Frank. Frank's got a little bit of space. And how are you going to stop him? Well, that's one way, but he's going to get the ball back. Just, it's just a crowd. It's become a rugby scrum right now around him. He's got to pass it, certainly. and That's a shot Yeah, but from that angle. Not a great too, one. Yeah, yeah, too easy for Axon. That's his bread and butter right there. So, no. I think uh, Frank would probably want that to not to be a shot. Like, I mean, yeah, don't put that in my stats. <laughs> 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 
Well, Frank Ty has been a, a, a breath of fresh air on, on this team, hasn't he? I mean, just, just it's almost uh, like uh, if, if you hadn't been watching this team the last couple of weeks, you don't have any sort of reference, you know, so um, maybe a good opportunity to tell people, like, hey, when this game is over, go watch, you know, last week and, and try to make a comparison. And see know? the difference, yeah. yeah. It is one thing that they've lacked, of course, is a premier goal scorer up yeah. top. They have a lot of wings, a lot of midfielders. Yeah. But to have a big physical presence up top, again, they tried it early this season with a different player. Yeah. But to have Frank Tayu, the king, right, yeah. from Major Arena Soccer League, the multi-time golden boot and most valuable player of the Major Arena Soccer League, now starting up top for LA Forest, is a boondoggle for yeah. this club. And could this springboard this like this you know this league and and this and this franchise to greater heights you know by attracting this kind of player can they then attract let's say another like you know i know a lot of um, managers like no we don't want to have a 35 year old player from england coming sure we want to we want to be developing I'm like but I, and i'll tell them but you know what would be nice if i do see that you know 35 year old star that that you know I, that from liverpool or from manchester united it would be nice and it would be great for ticket sales so do you think this could be an opening for at least something like that dennis let's see frank pump in a couple of goals right and yeah. get those highlights working yeah right and put some eyeballs on the league and i think attention will bring more oh, you know there'll, there'll be more people who know frank right than may know any other player in this league right now yep yep well here come the bobcats it's corner nicely swung in and keenan just being that stalwart veteran right there it's a handball well done got to give credit to the captain over there but you were saying about you know getting more eyeballs i totally agree dennis yeah, he's a fan, phenomenal player, yeah. has had massive fan support everywhere he's been because he is club first and he pumps in goals yeah. like and crazy. And likable, yeah, and, uh, fan yeah, friendly. Definitely always yeah. stays after signing autographs yeah. and doing all that. And he is a, a big time presence in American soccer in the lower, divi lower levels. He's yeah. played in U.S. Open Cup and, and done a number of different things in different leagues. And so he has a, a massive following. Right Maybe. now, he's on defensive duty right now because Bobcats, Bobcats have the free kick, and it is dangerous. Two-man wall. Hugo Gomez can have to be alert on that one. It's going straight down the middle. Yo, very good. Easy for, for Hugo Gomez. I didn't want to telegraph that play to him, but <laughs> we, we might have already seen that. Here we go, folks. Back to action. Simon Allen here, the Dalai Lama of soccer. Next to me, fountain of information. Dennis Pope. That's me. Do you like your unit name I give you? The Fountain of Information. Yeah. The Fountain. I can get behind that. I kind of yeah, like not? that. Why not? Everyone has to have a nickname. I gave Alex, uh, Alex the Knife, Nevaeh. Thought it was very, you the know. The Knife. The Knife. I so. think Alex can grow into that a little bit, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We've been doing the uh, Root and Branch podcast on Protagonist. A Alex? Yeah. No, oh. not Alex. Oh. Uh, Dan Vaughn and myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I've been calling myself the Pied Piper of lower division soccer, but I kind of like eh, I kind of like yours. It's a bit presumptuous, better. isn't it? <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. I mean, I mean, it's not like I'm the Dalai Lama of soccer for. <laughs> That's a little presumptuous, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> but it, it's fitting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was actually given to me, Dennis. Thank you very mm. much. Many years ago. Yeah, you got to earn those nicknames. I, I earned that one. The the one I had before that was not flattering whatsoever. It wasn't the fountain, was it? It was. It was the. It was the Diego Maradona of, of American soccer mm. podcasting. Again, this was back in 2005, where maybe Diego Maradona was a bit more liked, or or less controversial. How about that? Back to action, folks. I know you're eavesdropping on what we're talking about here, or while we're on the mic. But again, Simon Allen here, Dennis Pope, NISA Soccer, LA Force are up one nil against the Maryland Bobcats who are desperately looking to get any kind of goal they can while they're on the road here. No offense on this road yeah. trip so far. Yeah. Ironically, the, the player that we've been watching um, hasn't scored a goal yet, and the player we weren't watching will made us very, very well aware that, uh, you know, that he's around. Edward so, Salazar. So, you know, put him in your notebook. Back to action. Looking for Tyoon, and it's offside right now. Only a few moments to go, a few seconds, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I think both these teams just want to wind it down, get into the halftime. Make some changes. Yeah. Yep. 
but just definitely the dressing room is going to be uh, a buzz on both sides. One, I'm almost going to think that the manager is going to say, like, well, why isn't Tayo getting as many shots off as, why aren't you getting it to him quicker? Because um, at the end of the day, that's what he's here to do. And lo and behold, here comes the LA Force. Bobcats are doing a good job through midfield. Mm. Well, limiting some of that service. Yeah, the final right? the final third is is where they're being a bit timid, you know, and and it's not lack of talent. It's just you know who's gonna who wants to score the goal, and maybe they're a bit too afraid to not score a goal. That could be part of it at the moment. Yeah, it's not a very good foul at all, is it? No, Tayo's still down. Yeah. One minute of stoppage time will be added to the first time. Well. He's had a good 45, but we want to see another 45. So let's hope he's all right. I don't think it's, you know, he's sitting up. There's no in and out in, uh, obviously, in, in, in football. Uh, he's used to, you know, indoor soccer where it's, he can come in out. So Not in the professional third division yeah, there, is no. it? So, uh, he's on. He's good. Yeah. They don't call him the king for nothing. I'm going to have to take a picture of the, the king and the Dalai Lama, right? I mean, that, that would be pretty fun. <laughs> here we go, folks. I'm having a lot of fun. Dennis is having a lot of fun. The, the folks are having fun. Here's a free kick. Certainly. There it is. Beautiful. It's and the center back captain, Keenan, scores the goal. Everyone's still talking about Frank. And the guy from the back. Who's general, who's general of the back, scores a goal with a cracker of a header. An absolute bullet. Nothing Alex Sutton could have done about that. Not one bit. Look at this. Ball in from Rivas is spot on. Keenan just attacks it, right? Nobody else is there going for it. He's there. Well, we were watching another player. And that's what and we're so talking about, yeah. yeah. You, you got eyeballs on Big Frank, and you lose sight of who you're supposed to be marking. In this case, it was Keenan, the captain. And, and what an absolute death blow seconds before the, whist the whistle gets blown. Worst time if you're the yeah. uh, uh, the away team coming in to allow a goal right before halftime. That's I would devastating. be gutted, Dennis. I'd be like, what's going on? We're, we had a chance. And here we go, folks. Now, referee's calling the half. Well, if you haven't been watching and you're just tuning in, Halftime score, LA Force 2, Maryland Bobcats 0. My name is Simon Allen. Next to me, Dennis Pope. And you're watching NISA Soccer TV Max Family. And uh, stay tuned, folks. It's going to be another great half coming up. We'll see you in about 15.
And we're back. It's halftime. LA Force leads 2 0. And I'm joined by my youngest son, Eli. It's his 11th birthday. Hey there. Want to wish him a happy birthday. And he's going to take us through some NISA stat leaders this season. Take it away, Eli. So with the, the, the NISA goal leaders through June 16th, we've got Darwin Espinal from the Bobcats with six. <laughs> I always get this one. Um, Marcus Nagelstad. Naglestad. Naglestad. With from Chattanooga with six, Ignacio Ten Lopez from Club de Leon, Leon for, with five and three other players tied with three. Then with the shot leaders through also June, also June 16th, Darwin Espinal from the Bobcats with 17. He actually has 18 now after he oh, shot in the yeah. first half. Shing. Shinya? Shinya Kanono with from Sa San Diego Albion with 16 and here it is again <laughs> Marcus Na Naglestad there you go with from Chattanooga again from 13 all right that's the current stat leaders from my man Eli it's his 11th birthday happy birthday again bud thanks we'll talk to you later okay okay Eli, our newest member of the team, huh? He's got a future in this game. Got a, yeah, he got a good future in this game. Yeah, I see it. I see a little bit of a uh, lump of soccer in him. You know, he's got a little, you know, got a little spark. <laughs> he's right over here. Well done, Eli. Happy birthday, bud. Yep, yep. All right, 45 left here in this yeah, one. and it's Father's Day weekend, so how are you feeling, Dennis? You all right? Yeah. Got any dad jokes? Doing great. Uh, tons of dad let's, jokes. Let's hear one, then. We've got a few seconds. Oh, boy. Where let's do I start? Joke. Oh, um. I'll, I'll, I'll start, you know? I'll start. How, does the, how do the baby skunks get out of the, the skunk mall when it's time to leave? Hit me. They call their mum with their smell phone. Mmm, the smell phone. Yeah, yeah, all right. I like that one, I no, like that no. one. No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to cue me up a joke. Know, a joke uh, here, you know. I'm not following. If this, if this uh, soccer lock doesn't work for us, Dennis, we can hit the vaudeville scene. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we might have some better luck there. I'm... <laughs> oh, that, that's the yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, that's the one. My boss well, told me to have a good day, so I left. Right. <laughs> Back to action, folks. Simon Allen here, the Dalai Lama of soccer. Next to me, the fountain of info, Dennis Pope. The fountain. I kind of like it. Well done. I, I, and here we go. Back to action. L.A. forced. Got a nice cushion. 2-0 up over the Maryland Bobcats. They've switched sides, obviously. It's getting a little bit colder cooler not really that cold LA force in white Bobcats in red not sure as of right now if there's been any substitutions but at the end of the day players that we uh, have seen in the first half are back on the pitch I'm pretty sure Dennis that the, that, uh, the uh, Bobcats are like listen it's, it's not 2-0 you know it's it's you know go back and play your game. Don't there's not, no, no no need to panic. Don't put your thumb over the panic button. Go play your game. But this time actually connect to the final third. Don't be unselfish. Take shots and score goals. It's all about mentality right yeah. now, right? Because they did nothing wrong other than that. There was nothing to change other than like to just get the shot off. So maybe a little bit defending on set pieces, right? <sighs> I would say so. Yeah, I mean, logically, you see the scoreline. Yeah, but on both sides, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. I think Maryland also needs to find that final pass, right? They yeah. haven't seen that final look through the defense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I and, I and this is just like you gotta take the shots. So I don't think it was a you know like a. Encyclopedia Britannica kind of moment. Like, yeah, let's, let's completely rechange this. I think it's like, let's just get out there and score goals. 
And if it's Route 1 football, we've seen how that's kind of worked on the other side of the pitch. And I think the, the, the LA Force are like, oh, we're doing all right. Nothing to change here, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how about just getting getting the ball to our, you know, to our new player and having a score a goal, you know? And here comes, and there it is. Good movement. Certainly ha something happening there. Well timed by the Bobcats. And you know we were looking for a, just a nice short cross into Tayu just to tap it in. Viatoro was kind of setting his feet underneath it. In fact, uh, Richard Forker got to it first. Forker doing a great job, and I think he is that, that backup to, uh, uh, to, to Mansoor, so it's a, it's a good idea. Here we go. There's that cross. No, not yet. He's bringing in two players, gets it to safety, and not out of touch yet. Come on, you've got to do that cross quickly. One on two, and oh, look at that. Just cheeky, just <laughs> passes it to the knee of the opposition and goes in for a throw in. Goes out through a throw, I should say. No reason at any point for Forrest to hurry in the second <laughs> half either, right? No. I, at this point, I would be passing back at this point. So, yeah. Probably going to see some gamesmanship too. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit of time wasting. Yeah. I hope not. I think I think you can play the game without, like, you can just be that. Just slow play. You know, how about right. this? You want, you know, the, the sort of the Brazilian-like football that Rivas was doing. Mm-hmm. Do 20 minutes of that, you know, just just wow the crowd, you know. Like, okay, yeah, time wasting, but still, it's something, you know, something to put on the highlight reel. Or right? get a third goal and shut this whole thing down, right? Yeah. Because a two goal lead, you know what they say. Oh, uh, I don't know what they say. <laughs> I think I'm not a stato in any way, but I'm like, I'm sure there are stats that say that no, it's actually not good, or it's very good, or I'd rather be two nil up than two nil down, you know, or, you know. I think someone. Like, it's about, I think it's about the next goal, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's yeah. all about the next goal, right? I'm now. sure, like, a hundred years ago, a coach was like, "Listen, it's, it's all on them. You know, they're two nil up, but, you know, they're going to be resting." Like, mm -hmm. So they made it like the favor of the person who's two nil, nil down. And I've always been said, I've always said that, listen, I'd rather be two nil up oh, all yeah. day long. You oh, know, yeah. I mean, don't try to convince me otherwise. It's just, you know, reverse psychology. But Bobcat's well, not giving up. They're getting tougher. Looking for a penalty, excuse me, looking for a foul. Not quite in the box. Oh, sorry. that's a, yeah. a little dangerous there, yeah, regardless Falker, of the referee's yeah. non-call. Forco just got a you know a bit of the player. Not very... Uh, I think it's a new player come, that came on. I could be wrong. No, it wasn't. It was Espaleta. He's been on all the time. Sorry, yeah, sorry Dan. Sorry, sorry. Oh, there you go. There you go. So that was... Uh, there you go. That's the uh, that was the that was the talk. On, Let's get a bit tougher. That was the talk. Yeah. Let's get stuck in. Yeah. 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 Viatoro, who's just making those runs up and down, you know, the, the sides of the pitch. Just now, uh, now he's got, <laughs> got a big red mark on the back. You know, so. Force has those players on both sides with Rivas and Viatoro. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame that we're not on the other side because I just want to see you know Rivas again with a sort of. Samba-like magic, yeah. yeah. So here we go. Back to action. Bags of space now. Viatoro crosses it. Doesn't quite get past the first defender. He does now. Something's going to have to happen. Just smothered away at this point. Just into space. Not, nothing's going to happen. Lily White's. All White's. LA Force got the ball. Hernandez just play it safe. Back to Gomez. Yeah. Nice boot into the midfield, looking for Tyre. Not going to happen. <laughs> Monster has his number at this point. It's just who can be at the right place around him at this point. Well, the last two goals. But look at this. Surely get a toe poke onto that one. He does. Very well done by Sutton. And he's got, he's got his eye on the ball. And they've ratcheted up the speed over here. So Bobcat's on the attack. Good movement. Kicked away. Bypasses the midfield. Focus with the ball. Filming back to, to Sutton. Focus saying just keep it to as far away as possible. Instead, rightly so, gets it to a player who's got bags of space. That's Wivel, 22, yeah. Nice movement. Back and forth. If you're a neutral, do you switch? 
and get allegiance to the like the underdogs at this point? Uh, do you keep rooting for the team that's two up? After all, you know, a lot of people watching right now are probably neutral fans, you know? So I want to welcome all the new fans out there who are, who are watching for the first time. Still waiting for a Bobcats goal on this West yeah. Coast swing. And they and they got pressure. They need they need to score a goal. Here come the Bobcats. Trying to find a man in space, trying to go past his defender. It's not gonna happen. It's just he's just out muscled right now. Free kick, dangerous. They want to take it quickly, but it's not gonna happen right now. Hernandez stands over the ball, prevents yeah. the free kick. Very smart. A lot of players in the front. I think this will be Espinal's to take. Trying to see it. You know, I'm really looking at... Hmm. Trying to see who's just jockeying for position right now at this point. It's going to go into that sort of traffic area. Surely. And just Strong header out. Yeah. And here comes... It's not out of danger yet. A little bit of space for Bobcats. They're going to just pump the ball back in. Tap in, not quite, not quite, and very well defended by the LA force. Defenders falling all the way back to the goal line. I could have sworn that would have just been just tap down and a quick sort of toe poke in the back of the net, but it's a corner it's a kick. Corner kick, yeah. A lot of players are going to be jockeying for space right now. There it is. And Punched out well. Oh, well done. Like a boss. Got to like a keeper who commands his area. Yeah. It's what I aspire to do every Sunday morning. <laughs> there you go. Get it out of your area so you can go back to relaxing, I would say. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Good movement. Just intelligent football by the Bobcats. They just got to pull the trigger. There's that cross. Does it get to anyone's head? It doesn't. Just over. Falls through. Yeah. Just over the mark at this point. And both players, no, sorry, one player down. Slow to get up. C players are calling for some sort of help. Physio's going to have to come on on this one. So that a Bobcats player down. Who yeah. is that? Referee's calling for the physio. Yeah. And this, I mean, it doesn't look. He's rolling around too on the bad. ground. He's just rolling. Is it maybe his head. Touch of heads, maybe. Clash of something. Let's see. I think it was Mansoor. Oh, that's that's he needs he needs to be on the pitch. <laughs> He's gonna have to leave though for yeah. a moment. Yeah. So now's uh, the opportunity that the I think the LA Force could be waiting for. There's not gonna be a, a, a gigantic man mark on Tyu. So get the ball to your your big forward as quickly as possible while you're one man up and see what happens. I think the restart's a throw-in. Hmm. Yeah. Not a great throw-in, but... Yeah. We want that one back. Monster's going to be back in a few seconds. So look at this goalkeeper right over here. Playing Monster's <laughs> position while Monster's <laughs> off yeah. the field. This has definitely got a trace of that indoor sort of stuff, isn't it, we've been talking about? Keeper coming up all the way to halfway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably a lot of people right now are like, oh, he's up, he's up, he's all the way in the halfway line. How about one of those, you know, those gigantic kicks that goes over the goalkeeper? He's running, you know, something classic like that. I don't know if we've seen a goalkeeper goal in Nisa yet. You haven't seen that one yet? I don't know. I don't uh, know if there's been one. I don't think so either. Certainly they've had the, you know, they've, they've had the thighs for it, right? They've got the muscle there to do it. Just hasn't had the opportunity. Some of these goalkeepers have like tree trunks, you know. Oh yeah. Like, oh, you hit and it's like, wait a second. Force trying to work back possession here. Yeah. Right now, it just feels like it's the first half all over again. You know, like the first moments of the first half. Uh, only ratchet up the speeds a little bit, just a little bit more. Look at that. He's got to control a little bit better. Very dangerous. Yeah, Mansoor kind of just let that ball play him there. Maybe he's still sort of... Okay, let's just get back to action, folks. Here comes 
and given away. And they've got to sort of maintain possession there, whoever, whichever team it is. More importantly, it has to be. It has, it has to be the Bobcats. Reva turns a foul on the far yeah. touch. So this might be the mo for the rest of the half. To be honest with you, just seeing this like stop and stop and start, stop and start, just delay, to yeah, delay, right? And just to sort of throw the game off a bit, you know. And Bobcats just can't get a rhythm, and the LA Force would be happy to do that. I think it, that's exactly the idea. You yeah. want to keep Bobcats out of their rhythm, not allow them to gain any sort of momentum. Yeah. Certainly keep the ball off the feet of Espinall. Yep. So far, it's it's it's, it's working. And keeping the yeah. one of the league's leading scorers off the yeah. score sheet. Yeah. Is it, you know, beautiful football? Yeah, debatable. But it's been nice at times. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Nice big boot. Nope. Absolutely silly. Here come. Turned it over. Yeah, just silly. And here come the uh, the Bobcats. They got a little bit of movement coming. A little bit of space. He doesn't control it. Favorable bounce and referee stops the game. Could have played advantage. Doesn't. Calls it back, and now the advantage is not an advantage. Fair enough. Focus passes the ball. Nice through ball. It's one on one. Gets it to a player in space, and look at this. Good movement. LA Force not really attacking, and there it is. Surely a cross. Can, it, can he keep it? In? He does. But just doesn't control it, and it's nice boot out. Is it out of danger? No. It is now. And there's going to be a foul right there. Focus is really not having a good time there. And look at this, just muscled away. And look at this, look at this, look at this. He's going to I, It was six of one and half a dozen of the other, to be honest with you. Well, I, I think that play. Frank clearly had the better of that situation, but the referee had already sort of began to wave his flag for the foul look. against Bobcats. Yeah, for right there, a little bit of jersey tug from Forca. No, I think he was moving. The, he was actually helping him yeah, out rather than anything else. I think Frank had advantage there. Right? Yeah, he was yeah. working the ball fine. Well, now advantage clearly, clearly. Look, and this is the opportunity where Forrest slows the game down. Yeah, right? Suck those seconds off the clock. And, and the, but also, if you're thinking about it, we have got a player that we want to see a sco score a goal. So slowing the game down doesn't really help him out. But here's a cross. Look at that! How cheeky was that? <laughs> if it was anyone else, I would say that was yeah. the most casual thing yeah. I've ever seen. But that was just like, no, I can get this doing this. A little dink. Yeah. And if it went in, it would be completely different. But the action's on the other side of the pitch. Surely something's going to happen. Take the shot, lad. Just a bit too. There it is. No. Espinal found the space, got the ball through the crease and through Gomez, but just nobody there on the other end. That's why you stick around, even if it's 2-0. Espinal almost single-handedly. Just take a look at this replay. He just gets the cross through the area, but there's no shot on the end. Wow. Nice big boot into the middle of the park. Looking for Frank. He's got it. He's controlled it. He's got to get past two of his players. He does. He doesn't. Just runs out of space here. If it was a little bit wider, who knows? It's a throw in for the for Maryland Bobcats. Forker now has it, gets it to his teammate, looking for anything, anyone with space. Nice long ball into that pocket. Easily Gomez handled. There. Easily. Oh. oh. Oh, he's protecting himself. That's good. But it hit him in the chest. I think he did he, did he just do like, uh, yeah. like a <laughs> I thought he did a... a uh, it was coming pretty move. hot. It was yeah. coming pretty hot from Gomez. Just no one there right now. Again, just want to tell everyone out there, just watching on the Worldwide Spiderweb, you've got to be down here. It's so fun. Just so much fun. Everything can happen. Sometimes the camera misses it. There's little things on and off the pitch. It's the beauty of low league uh, soccer in America. NISA is amazing that way. Um, whether it's this stadium or the one or championship stadium, it's amazing. Come on out. The only thing missing really is you. Simon, I'm going to remind you of something at the moment. 13 okay. here. We've seen score a goal before. Do you right. know when and where? You and I. Yep. We were on that call that day. His name's Jeremy Feilerman. 
Was he playing for the same James, team? James Filer, was he, not Jeremy. Was he playing no, for the same team? No, he, he was playing for a team that's no longer in this league. Was it the? Uh, was he playing for a Oakland team? No, sir. There's a shot blocked. San Diego team? Nope. You gotta tell me because I'm just it's just killing me right now. He's playing for Detroit City. He scored that overhead bicycle. Oh my! That's that's the guy. And this is where he is right now. He plays. And for we him. haven't even said his name more than a couple of times. Nope. James Feilerman's the guy. Scored that beautiful bike. So now we have to go look for it because that I, I that's that's etched in the back of my mind. I just didn't, I didn't I don't have the name. I just I remember that moment. The highlights up on on Nisa. There you go, yeah. folks. Surely something happening here. Bobcats no. player, the, the new forward that's come on, Malik Tom for Bobcats. Got his head to it, but over the bar. Just Stick another there. target right now. But, again, uh, at this point they might be throwing just about the kitchen sing out there just for anyone. Just connect. We're connect with the forward. See a substitute here for Forrest. Moja Hale's going to come off. Mm. Looks like Aldo Quintanilla, 23, will be coming on. Ladies and gentlemen, have your attention, please. At the 63rd minute of play, substitution. For LA Force, exiting the match, number 17, Roger Hill. Entering the match, number 23, Aldo Quintanilla. Yeah, Aldo's coming on. Straight up swap. Yeah, yeah. Right sided yeah. forward. Like for like, so. No change of plan, just a change of personnel. Big boot down the middle. Look at that, just players just. Create oh. space for yeah. other guys. There it is. Something's happening here. Surely a shot. Come on out, there's the goal. Very well shot and very well saved. The shot on goal, first touch from Quintanilla. Puts it on frame, Sutton with the save. Absolutely making his mark the minute he sh shows up onto the pitch. Aldo doing a great job. Gets his, his boots muddy with a shot on goal. Falconel has the ball. Playing to the sides. A little bit of space. Bobcats maintaining possession. Getting, trying to find that pocket. Not going to happen. Brandon Gomez holding on to the ball here. Gomez, no rush to get it back into play. Look at that. Just a bullet. Another substitution for Force. Gonzalo Saguero enters for Edwin Rivas. Oh, that's, uh, well, that little bit of flares, you know. Well, we don't know. I haven't seen. So we'll see. Saguero, you remember, of course, played of for course, Cal United. Yes, um, yes. No, take it back. Very good. <laughs> Very good. That's a lot of flair. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's so fun to see players sort of move around and then see what they can bring to the new teams. I remember yeah. Salguero doing, just being a pivotal player you know, in his last club, and, and here we go. And then when you reminded me of, I mean, that was... That's one of know, the best goals in the history yeah, of Misa. I think, yep. yeah, and... and, and you don't want to be a little bit selfish here, but we were calling it. We did. That's you know, that's an honor. Here we go. There's a shot. Hits a body. It's, it's a hits blast. A, it, it hits a, a hand. Is that what the referee's saying? I believe that's what he's saying. The player was in the area. We've got to... That just... I mean, that, I mean, that's the beauty of kicking it straight into some, into some traffic here. You might get that lucky break, but... Certainly something's happening here. I think he's going to confer with his assistant here. Let's see if the, the luxury of... It was a blast. It's hard to say yeah. where it deflected from. Player was jumping. I think that was that was Keener, too. Yeah. Again, he's talking to the referee. Referee wasn't in the right. What are we going to do? Yeah, maybe we can he see still it. calls the penalty. He does. Okay, good. Well, that's, that's you know, that's the uh, the beauty of football, you know? I mean... It's, there's a human factor in it. I think that was Manuel Gonzalez who hit the shot. 23 for Bobcats. Well, Espinal's going to take it. We can see that. That much we know. It's one-on-one. -on -one. 
Kinda, with Gomez. Got a chance to take the, the league's lead here in goals. Uh, oh, interesting, yeah. So this is by hook or by crook. Espinal. He's got it. <laughs> He's got it. Easily done. Yep. So there we have it, folks. Turn a, little, a, a good break for the Maryland Bobcats. They get themselves a penalty. Espinal converts. Nothing really Gomez could do about it. It was a bullet. 2-1. So still, 2-1. One. Still, two, one. There's, there's plenty of time. If you are a Bobcats fan, keep your fingers crossed. Do whatever you need to do because plenty of time for an equalizer. Back to action. Oh, that's... No, yes, referee saw it. Foul against Force. Yeah. Led. Here we go again. Force has to be careful here. They'll let this yeah. get away from him a little bit. You know, you're winning. You've got to walk away from some of these sort of baited challenges, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We saw that during the... Obviously, you know, can't be naive like that. Just you got to be smart, yeah. right? you got to play your game. This one all standing over the ball, Dennis, and he's just waiting for substitution to come in from the LA Force, who might, prob I would say they're bringing a defender in, but I could be wrong because I can't see it from over here. Yeah, but now we're going to get back to action. This is, not, this is not the stop they wanted. Nicely floated in. Ball just not, he's getting it now. Hugo's got it right now. So the first goal scorer of the match, Edwin Salazar leaves into the game is Clayton Torr, a defender for LA Force. And Clayton Torr played for he was a rookie last season for Force. Oh, yeah. There's that. Oh, certainly. Oh, heavy, almost. Heavy touch from Big Frank. Goalkeeper was out. We, yep. we, we were just wishing this a few moments ago. It's <laughs> quite nearly the action we were talking about. So where do I know Clayton Tor's name from then, Dennis, if I'm my memory back? L.A. Force. He mm -hmm. didn't start the season with them this season, but he's been re-signed and mm. he's back. Yeah, he played uh, mostly center back for them in his appearances mm, last season. Yeah. Sometimes when you see players and they're wearing like uh, you know like a jeans and a t-shirt, you don't you don't put the like oh, you, it's only when they're wearing their jerseys yep. and stuff, it's like oh that's where you know that's. Nice cross. Does it get to a player? Almost. And well done by Keenan. He's got the he's got that center back position just absolutely nailed in. It's amazing. Here's that. Reminds me a little bit of Cellini. Right, yeah. A little bit of wear and tear. Yeah. A little bit of balding hair. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but just a just a boost of life right now for the Bobcats. They know they can score a goal. I know they can make things happen. They're going to try to do it right now. Just not connecting, but certainly something there. Skill from Espinal there trying wow. to open up for a shot. Force fans are starting to let their team hear it a little bit. That's the beauty of, this, of, of Nisa. You're right there and, f you know, just almost just a few. We're on top of the field. Yeah, the fans are on top of yeah. us, right? Yep. You hear it, and it's like... And if you're a Nisa fan, you're a passionate fan. You know stuff, you know. You might be sitting next to the dad of the player, you know. So if you say that's something right. weird, you know, that's my. It's like that out here. I mean, how many mums and dads have I met of players while working for Nisa? I mean, just hundreds. Well, yeah. Here's that shot again. It was Gonzalez with the blast into the middle. I think it, yeah, it came off Keenan and Espinal. It's a smooth finish. Slight work yeah. for Espinal. Mm -hmm. Now it, he's definitely a player that deserves to be on that, you know, on that, uh, you know, top goal scorer list. Definitely. He's, he's put in his the work. best eleven last season. Yeah, he puts in the work. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't downshifted once at this, during this match. And here we go. Filerman to Espinal. Back to Filerman. And we, Espinal now going straight there. Wants it back. 
He needs to do something with it. He's going to get plenty of money, and he's got fouled. There you go. For his efforts, he's getting a free kick, and this is absolutely a dangerous place. You can feel Bobcats starting to build into this yeah. one now in the second half. Stuff they should be doing in the first half, they're now doing, just trying to you know bridge that gap. Needless to say that I think they could probably do it. That was a senseless play. Yeah. Reaching. You reach and Espinal's going to teach. <laughs> That's just the way it's going to go. Very good. Yes, I like that one. I'm going to use that one later. <laughs> and he's going to be over the ball. He's going to essentially float that in like we've seen him do countless times. It's going to make Gomez work. That's for sure. I don't know. Do you think it's going to... You know, it might be... It's going to be on, on goal, isn't it? I think we're going to see it on frame. Yes, on yep. goal, yeah. Yep. You can see that gap and... Espinal over the ball. He gets it. There it is. There it is. And well done by the goalkeeper. Hugo Gomez comes up trumps with that one. He's stung. Not the, stung. That's stung. He's not the biggest guy, but he, he's one of the most agile. Yeah. He gets there. He covers that space. And he knew Espinal was going to put it on frame. Just a just very wise goalkeeper beyond his years. Wow, well done. Another Again, I'm watching the goalkeeper again, just how he's commanding that. Uh, his area was 100% him there. He's given away a, a corner kick. You can see another corner here Yeah, Maryland. Everyone has to be on their toes. Everyone in that box, there's not... I'm trying to see if there's anyone outside, anyone with a white shirt. It just seems like everyone's out there defending, as they should. Bobcats with the corner. Doesn't get past its first defender, but at the end of the day, they get to... A, a sort of a second bite to the cherry. Another corner kick. Another corner kick. There it is. Looking it for that first post. Yeah. It's not getting past the first defender. Quick throw in. Can they make something of it? Turns around. There's that. It shouldn't be bothering the, the goalkeeper at all. Oh, swing and a miss there. Plenty of time. And Not now it ricochets to the favor of the LA Force, and they're doing a quick counterattack. Are they doing a quick counterattack, or are they going to the corner flag? Let's see. And he's been brought down, tug of the shirt, whole body goes down. Referee's going to go ahead and absolutely whip out a yellow. That's going to be the first yellow for Bobcats. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to see some substitutions here for Bobcats as yeah. well. Substitution with the 75th minute of play. Next to the match, Peter Richards. Richards leaves. Marco Sotorello enters. Alternating the match, number two for Maryland, Elmer Zolotoro. Another defensive switch for Bobcats. Via Toro, Elmer enters number two. For Burnett, I think. Well, they've worked their socks off, Dennis. So, I mean, at the end of the day. I'm not sure what the gaff is thinking right now, bringing on defender, but... be throwing the whole kitchen sink right now at the LA Force right you've obviously contained you know their big player up front you know you've you guys think it was a hit him <laughs> you make the call <laughs> I don't know if anyone heard that yeah. but this is what happens you know <laughs> They, 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 maybe they, they think we're the VAR, huh? <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. Well, we, got, we got the monitor. I, I, I could be called worse. <laughs> <laughs> so does that make yeah. – who's the lead VAR here and who's the assistant VAR? Well, I, I actually applied for a job uh, as someone who would take care of the VAR for a different league. And uh, and I got I got a sort of a stock email back. Sorry, uh, 
um, you're not qualified. I'm like, no one's qualified. <laughs> and by the way, I was qualified. <laughs> so it was really funny. <laughs> oh, well, I've been called worse. Yeah, via, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. The next person that comes up and says, uh, can I you know, buy a sandwich from you? I think I'll be <laughs> pretty offended. You can do it all, Simon. <laughs> I bet you make a lovely sandwich. Uh, probably. You get a hoagie or something. I don't know. But I prefer doing this, talking about football. Here we go, folks. We've seen this before. You'll give and go. There's that cross in there. Certainly. What a there team. it is. And well saved by the goalkeeper. Not oh. out of danger yet. Certainly a shot now. And just over the bar. Gomez saves the day there, punching it out. What a ball in man first from Espinal. Match. Yeah. And he's really trying to get Bobcats level in this one. It was a he's beautiful that, ball he's first He's that talisman in. that every team needs. Like, listen, no, I'm not giving up. Here you go. Look at this. What a ball. Gomez comes out and just swats at it, tries to clear it out, falls again to Espinal, and he just gets underneath it, sails it over the bar. That was a, a, certainly a scoring chance, yeah. right, for Bobcats to get level in this one. They want, got want to have had more we've got from that. Play it down, but we're talking about that just that run of play to where just someone's got enough gumption, doesn't want to give up. Like, hey, I don't care. We've got 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We've got one minute. This is what I'm going to do. And it's, every team has that. Every team has that talisman. If they don't, they're in trouble. And, yeah, here we go. We just saw it right there. It's what every young player out there in America should be looking at going, are you that guy? Then you're going to be wanted for the rest of your life. Every team's going to want you. This is Viatoro who's limping. Having a tr little bit of trouble getting off the field here. Yeah, that, is, ooh, that is not good. It's not a good sign. Let's try to scoot off here. Are we going to see the run up? No, we're going to see the. We're yeah. watching the highlights from early. There's the first oh. goal. That was Salazar with his first yeah. goal as a LA Force player. Yeah, lovely. And the ball in here from Edwin Rivas. What a flick. Sheena, look yeah, at that. That's a pro goal right there. <laughs> Bobcats get one back. Well struck penalty from Espinal. We're 2 1 right now, LA yeah. Force in the 79th minute. Yeah. And Bobcats are not giving up. Their heads haven't come down. A um, couple, still couple more subs coming yeah. on here for LA Force. I'm pretty sure a defender's going to come in. Send that to the play for the LA Force. Excellent match. Did a great job at center midfielder. Let him pause for Danny Espeleta. The amateur Danny Espeleta's off. Didn't see who's Oh, Justin Jovel's on. It's a midfield switch in the middle of the park for force. We got about ten minutes left yeah. in this one. Number one, I, I, if you're if I'm a neutral, I do want to see Frank score a goal. Oh, definitely. Uh, if I'm a neutral, I'd want to see another goal regardless of whatever team it was. Whether it's you know the, obviously the Bobcats would be. Would make their, you know, make their trip to California what it needed. I don't think they'd be, they would mind going home, you know, with a draw here. Um, I think obviously the LA Force would be very disappointed after their first after their first half, definitely yeah. to and not get something out of this. I'm sorry, with the boys going to get it right in and very well done by Sutton. He needs to start it quickly. He does. Look at the boot on that. Just absolutely on the other side of the pitch right now. Just crushes. He's going to have to get a lucky bounce. He's got it. Something's happening here. Gomez does very well. Yeah. His punch went around the players. He's got to own and that zone. Yeah. He's the boss. Hugo boss. <laughs> there it I is. <laughs> That's it. I got it. There you go. Oh, just, just I'm watching with bated breath. What's going to happen in that box when that ball just gets floated in? you got to, you got to be a committed defender if you're on LA Force right now. Kudos to them. They've been doing very, very well. And Big Frank just turn. Just turn that defender. Something's happening here. Who's going to maintain control? Well, it looks like LA Force. They've got a ball. Well done here. Surely something's going to happen inside the box. No. Justin Jovel did a good job reading the play there. Turns to his right. He sees his player. He's got the cross in right there. Is it going to? Oh, and just trying the cheekiest ways to score a goal. Come on. Clayton Tor with the big cross, trying to find Frank. Frank just couldn't lift his leg high enough there. No, he was. Fl he did a. F oh. He got a piece of it. No, he was trying to make like a little cheeky yeah, flip a little around. Scissor. Yeah. Yeah. I think that could be his highlight for. I mean, that just. Just the sheer cheekiness of it all. Like, oh, I'll just do this and score a goal. 
Well, he's that kind of guy. I think is he though? I think he is. Yeah. Okay. It's surely a shot. No, wants to get it to his teammate. They want him to score a goal. They're getting it to him. Certainly something. It's one on one. Just the P roll into the box. Not going to happen again. Looking for that big center forward. His teammates are just like dying for him to get a goal at this point. Oh, they would love that. Yeah. Just want to do a quick shout out to the TV. Max family doing a great job tonight, as always, with the broadcast. Just an amazing, amazing group of people um, that I've had the pleasure of working with for a long time and can't think of a better crew at this point. And with about eight minutes, just want to thank everyone for tuning in on the Worldwide Spiderweb. Thank you. Without you, we're simply talking to thin air. And we really do miss you. You should be here. It's a lot of fun, like this. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And again, like I've been saying for many years, without you, we're simply talking to thin air. So come on by. And uh, you know, let's, let's, let's just uh, have a good time here at the stadium next time, right? Foul goes against Malik Tom of the Bobcats. And we're going to see another substitution here for Bobcats as Wivel comes off. Oh. Substitution for Maryland. Exit match, Andrew Vell. Wivel? Wivel? Yeah. I wouldn't. I think it's probably Wivel and where I'm from and Wivel from here, you know? Just no rush to take this. And if you do, just get it straight down to the sides over there. It's what LA Force is doing. They're up 2-1. It's not as safe as you think it would be, but again, they're playing very well, uh, not throwing caution to the wind. They've turned it over right now, and here come the Bobcats. They've got fresh legs, a lot of them do, and here come that movement we've seen them do all match long. Akinyoye, 33 on for Bobcats. Just keeps it in touch. Can he keep it away from his mark? He does so far. It's two on one. Little push. Back to the right back, and he's got a nice boot in there. Certainly something's going to happen. Got to get it down really quickly. Nicely defended and just booted away for safety and out to touch on this side of the pitch. Maybe we can get the ball. It's going to come. <laughs> LA Force fans, no rush to throw it back in. They know the game. <laughs> But the ball's there. There's plenty of them on the field, so don't worry about it, you know? And then here we go. Tries to thread the It's a the great tackle. Here, but just a brilliant, brilliant, great tackle there. And here we go. What's going on, Avi? Frank plays it back. Why is he in the midfield? Focus just heads it. Going to bring it down to the ground over here. Unlucky here. Assistant referee said the ball crossed the line. Mm -hmm. We could probably see it better, but yeah, definitely. Whoa, getting very physical, which is fine. It's, it's still, you can be physical and be good and not dangerous. Here we go. Back and forth. A little bit of pulling here and there. Into the box and, ooh. A little indecisiveness yeah, with the back well, line. Some new players, you yeah. know. Not quite, they got the same book. It's not quite on the same page. Sutton all the way out to come get that one. There's about five minutes to go. I'm not sure about the stoppage time, but... We'll probably see a minute or two yeah. would be my guess. I, I think now would be the time to throw that kitchen sink if I was um, if I was the Bobcats. It likes time. Looks like we got a foul against Bobcats. Against Tom again, perhaps. The yellow card has been issued at the ace to play. player number seven, Tom. And he gets a yellow card for his efforts, does Tom. Mm. Bobcats have made some interesting substitutions yeah. this evening. Trying to scratch one, get one back here. Defensively, I think, other than that one, just that thing that just happened just a few seconds ago, I think they've been solid in the back for the LA Force. They've been doing very well. They've been definitely working together properly. Still making those attacks. Forka got his foot in there. 
Forka, one of the original Bobcats. Oh, thank you. Yep. Oh. Going all the way back to the UPSL days. He was on that UPSL national championship team. Oh. Well, does he sit around in the dressing room like, I remember when... <laughs> Too long ago now. <laughs> what? Played straight out of the air. That was pretty nice. There's the foul, and, and it's that's going to sting a little bit. Speaking of Forker, I think he's done a marvelous job playing that back. I think he's done. He's got commanding presence. He's been that guy that's been. You know, really had his eye on Frank. Yeah, he right? and yeah, he and Monsoor. Yeah, Monsoor, thank yeah. you. Have combined well yeah. to keep Frank and off the score yeah, sheet. It doesn't surprise me that he's a veteran. It doesn't surprise me that he's been doing this for a long time because you can now that you mention it I see that oh yeah, that's that's what you need, you know. More indecisiveness from the defensive yeah. unit on force back line here, letting that ball go all the way through. Certainly, I would I would have him in contention if there was an, an all star team. He would definitely be you know on that list. He's the Bobcats captain. Yeah. He and Mansoor have combined for that stopper sweeper. Yeah. You know, front and back, center center back tandem. It's like, um, when, you know, when I'm coaching, I usually like you can, there's that, you know, when you see a shark and he's swimming in the ocean and there's that little fish in front of him and, and you know, that's, it's that sort of thing. Now those roles change in, in soccer, obviously, mm -hmm. who's the shark. And so it's like whenever the shark moves, well, you know, so I think that's how I sort of describe it. And w those, those center back pairings are so vital in football. And the Bobcats certainly have that, have that, Forms the spine of the team, yeah, right? Yeah. Shouldn't have. There's no worries about that. So back to action, folks. It, Bobcat just throwing everything at it. About th a minute and a few seconds left. So full time here. Let's see what we have for stoppage. Bit of movement. It's one on two. He's surely he's make the cross out. He does, and just boot it out. Like you know, <clears throat> players down, and I, and I don't think that's for effect. The LA Force now do with their own counter. Oh, they really want to see Frank score. Just couldn't get past his mark. He's cramping up there on the back line. So it's, all right. So we'll have a few more moments to talk while we're here, Dennis. So after you're watching this match, you, you know, you obviously you've, you know, you've seen all the matches so this week and last week, so on and so forth. How, and again, it's very sort of uneven uh, table right now because some play, some teams have played more. Some play. How are you looking? Like, what's your sort of? If you would say, what's your favorite team going in? Um, who's gonna? Who might? Who would surprise you? Who's gonna? I think the class and everybody sees it at this moment is Chattanooga. Yeah, un unbeaten still. Yeah, that's not that's that's not you going out and limp. No, so no, I want you to go yeah. out and limp. <laughs> who's gonna catch Chattanooga? Well, who's gonna who's who's gonna surprise? Who's gonna be a spoiler? I would have said Bobcats. Yeah, until right? this weekend. Uh, you know? Yeah. Once right? you come to California and, and yeah. you only score on one on a penalty, yeah. you know, that, that doesn't instill a whole lot of confidence yeah. right? in your ability to, to play attacking soccer. And those, games, and are, and those games are disappearing. You're not yeah. going to have as many games now, right. right? So, okay. And, you know, you try and, you know, match that up against Chattanooga and yeah. you're going to get blown off the pitch. Yeah. I think Bobcats need to find a way to find more in the attack. Yeah. But there's a you know there's so much season left to play still we're mm -hmm. barely a quarter in a and bit, a lot of these teams more. are playing different sort of tournaments right I mean at the end of the day yeah I mean summer season is a little bit wacky but yeah. if you're a NISA pro player you're you're technically locked into that contract yeah. right and you shouldn't be playing other, anywhere else unless you mm -hmm. get permission yeah we did see some NISA players play in the TST tournament yes well uh, yeah you know and, and that will happen you know when those kind of opportunities present themselves but again yeah. professional players on professional contracts yeah. they have to be held to that. Would have loved to seen uh, a Nisa All Star team in that in that tournament. Oh, that would have been amazing. Agreed. Oh, there's a that would have been. It would have been. Sh it would have showcased the absolute amazing talent that we've seen that I've seen since day one of Nisa, and you've seen since day one. Nisa showcased the talent, and you would have been amazing to see 
uh, an all-star NISA team against, let's say, Wrexham or something like that. Yeah, that's been, been that'd amazing. Been a blast, to Again, be honest, this is yeah. this is this is what we do. Even as as schoolboys, I would dream about imagine this player and imagine this. And now I'm doing it in real life. You know, many years later, can you imagine a NISA all-star team over there? Basically, creating a a, a NISA all-star five. Yeah. Aside, you know. I think if we're just going to throw it out there, yeah. I think Espinal yeah. and, and Naglastad yeah. are your starters up top. Goalkeepers, you've got a lot of really, really good ones in this yeah, league. There's, yeah, right? there's not a bad, there's not really one you can say that guy's not good. The it's player, the guy that moved to, to Chattanooga, though, the Haitian sensation, yeah. he'd be my pick yeah. in goal. Uh, and then you'd have to maybe, you know, find a, a, goal, uh, a defender in a mid. Yeah. Well, certainly we got Frank over here that you'd probably put, it's a seven on seven tournament, so yeah. you might as well add him there. Sure. You know, a um, big target forward. That'd be yeah. great to have in that tournament. Couple of guys who t are taking the, you know, uh, I take the season off. I take Filer. I take Filerman. Yeah. On the Bobcats, on that, Play on that seven, uh, yeah, for seven the aside. Strikers that right. I, I, you know, um, I forgot his name now. That he won the Player of the Year. Omar Nuno. Uh, and there's another one. Christian Tierjung. Tierjung. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's a great. Man. I would have put him on there and said, okay, and I, and. Go toe to toe with anyone at that point. Neither of those players have yet to reemerge professionally oh, yet really? since they've left the strikers. I think they might be. They should be back. They're quality. Here's the last ditch effort. Sutton all the way up. Oh! Putting the ball in. Just take the shot off. All oh. the way through. Heartbreak. Let it, let it. It's just rolling out. Referee's looking at his watch. We're now in the fourth minute of stoppage. I think they. The board put up five. How many minutes of stoppage did we have? Five minutes. There's a foul right now. It's going to add a few more seconds onto stoppage time. This is absolutely. It's crunch time right yeah, now. It's yeah, it's nerve wracking at this point. 90 seconds until three points for the force. And that would be a massive start to their home swing. They haven't played since the road trip, haven't yeah. played since they lost to Bobcats. So to come back and flip the script I've, and get a 2-1. It's a very weird scheduling story. Like They haven't played in a long time. Yep. The last team they played was away, just happened to be the Bobcats. This is the absolute springboard that LA Force and LA Force fans need right now. Force have been 1-2-1 one, one since they brought on Matt Morse as the new coach. They won the opener against Albion in his, mm -hmm. in his Coach Morris's first game, and then went on the road. Flower City was a very decent match. Yep, scored season high three goals in that one. They hadn't scored more than one until that match, and now they have two tonight. Here's the last ditch effort. Boot it down the field, folks. 30 seconds. Hold on to your hats. Anything could happen. Booted away for the LA Force. They don't want to have anything to do with this, but they're coming back. They're coming back for another. Can he keep it in touch? He does. Given away. He's gonna again. He's gonna just boot it out again. This is just uh, almost like ping pong and tennis at this point. Given away. Given away. And every player that's wearing lily white right now is trying to get it. To, to, he's trying to get it to Frank. For something to happen. Frank tried to play it wide. There yeah. we go. Playing it up. Just wasting a little bit more time. The ball boy's like, let's do it. <laughs> We're after 95 now. Everything's extra here by the referee. Everyone who bought a ticket here bought... Get some uh, free soccer. Yeah, and they, well, they bought the seats, but they only, they only need the edge of it because it's done and dusted. Final score here at Rio Hondo. Your LA Force, the home team, two. Maryland Bobcats, one. It's been a sensational match. Fantastic. It's a testament to some amazing football that's being played at Nisa Soccer. My name is Simon Allen. I'm the Dalai Lama of Soccer. And next to me, Dennis Pope. Dennis, the fountain of information. Big, Pope. big three points right now for Force. This yep. is a, a massive restart to the rest of their season. Yep. And they're going to be feeling really, really good about having Frank Tayo on the roster and yep. getting three points in his debut. And last but not least, I'd like to wish my son a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Eli. There you have it. Well, we'll... Oh. I will say we'll leave it at that, but finish it off, Dennis. One okay, more. yeah. Uh, for, for Bobcats, uh, 
very disappointing road trip, right? Only score one goal, and it's only on a penalty. You've you got to provide more offense if you're going to stay at the top of the league. You're going to challenge for, with Chattanooga. And for force, you're getting right back in this race. You jump from four, from fifth to fourth, and you're right back in this thing looking for a playoff spot. Let's play devil's advocate before we leave. Maryland Bobcats can't, can actually have their heads raised up high. They played, and they didn't put their finger on the panic button. It's the beauty of NIS, NISA soccer that one week you might be losing, the next week you might be winning, and it's, it's, it's never say die. Want to thank everyone, TV, Max, Noah, Leo, everyone out there. Thank you so much for a fantastic night. All you fans out there, thank you. Ch tune in next time, and, uh, well, have a great night, and happy Father's Day to everyone here. Thank you.